Are there specific ways that women tend to kill? I know we've talked about the types of people they kill, about the length of time it takes to get them committed, but what about the actual ways women kill versus the ways men kill? The three most common ways are from poison and from asphyxiation uh, and from injection. So injection also could be poison. Um, and then less so common would be shooting and, and bludgeoning and drowning. It happens ever so often, but, you know, predominantly we're talking about poison injection and asphyxiation. They're less uh, direct. You don't have to uh, really have the physical prowess to overwhelm, overcome your victim. Um, so that helps females who are typically more a little more petite and less strong. Uh, and they also, because females want to want it, the investigators, it's part of the countermeasures, uh, not to be able to determine either through autopsy or otherwise that um, that it was a homicide and not from natural causes. That's why it's less like uh, physical contact or uh, shooting, which is an obvious homicide. So for uh, even though they may fantasize about uh, stabbings and, uh, and knifing the victim, um, they tend to want to get away with it. And I think that also a test, and I would certainly agree that those are the most common ways that women tend to kill, I think part of that reflects the victims that they choose. I mean, women, particularly female serial killers, tend to choose people who are dependent on them in some way, whether that's their children, whether that's um, people that they're taking care of in the hospital or in a nursing home or plaintiffs that are older um, or their husbands who they, can, they serve meals to. I think it makes sense if you look at it from a strategic point of view, if you're a female serial killer, to pick those kind of ways that are easy to administer. Again, they don't require a lot of physical force. And at the same time, they're very, very effective. And a lot of times, uh, you know, people don't question that. The person is older. The person has problems. It's a baby. Maybe it's a sediment and death syndrome. So it's also a very uh, easy, easy thing to get away with sometimes.